गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू फाइव एप्स दैट यू नीड ऑन योर स्मार्टफोन्स राइट नाउ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट ऐप सो द फर्स्ट ऐप इज एक्चुअली अ प्रीटी प्रैक्टिकल ऐप सो एज यू नो दैट द स्क्रीन साइजेस आर गेटिंग मैसिव डे बाय डे विद एवरी न्यू स्मार्टफोन लॉन्च स्क्रीन साइजेस बिकम बिगर एंड बिगर एंड बिगर सो दे डोंट जस्ट स्टॉप राइट देयर सो एन an app to actually help you out with this is that when usually with the usual system ui when you try to pull down the shade it's actually pretty hard with these massive displays for most of us so what this app's developers have thought about is actually a pretty practical idea so what this basically does is creates a second shade below the screen at the bottom of the screen to actually prevent you from dislocating your thumb in order to reach the shade right there because of these massive displays it's way easier to reach the bottom shade instead of going for the top shade and now this has become a usual app on my device so i usually use it without any problems it works perfectly fine it has no complaints it's a wonderful app to use so let's get on with the next app So the next app is actually a wallpaper app. In my last video as well, I had shown you a wallpaper app, which was clean, 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 and it gave a whole another definition to cleanness. But this app right here is actually a mix of cleanliness and artwork. So what this does is what you're seeing on my screen. It's a pretty clean wallpaper, and it looks pretty vibrant. It's a vivid wallpaper. It's it's a wonderful display of cleanliness and artwork. So. Let's get to the app. The app is known as Minimalist Wallpaper. So this is the interface of the app. It loads up this way, and these are the wallpapers which you can actually get. So easy to set them up. Just open the one you like and click on the theme button, and then click Apply. Uh, it's actually an easy app to use, and it gives amazing, explicit results. Just look at this wallpaper. I like this one as well. I've downloaded this in my gallery, and It's it's a pretty nice app. I I like this one as well and this one as well is in my gallery except for some frustrating ads which you get alongside this app. But other than that it's a wonderful app to use. So, let's get on with the next app. The next app is actually an editing app. It lets you edit your photos to whole another level. What this does is this is a photo which I have edited on this app. So, what I did out of this sun over here to create a brighter and brighter looking photo and then i added some luminary over here so that they look like clouds and this is what i got it gives explicit results every single time without having to compromise on the resolution of the photo so i'll just show you what i have downloaded and this is the one which i got It looks so clear. It's such a wonderful display of editing. It's it's actually pretty clear. You have no compromise on resolution. It's a pretty 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 high defined photo with all the details captured in it perfectly. So, the next app is actually a app which is pretty 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 practical again. So, what it basically does is suppose you're reading an article. So, let's go to Chrome and actually let me show you this uh, this app so first you go to the app and set it up so it's going to set up and then hit okay and then go so what this app basically does is that when you select a word and then uh, click on the three dots there's a special option called look up so what this basically does is that makes a new window which tells you the definition of these words so let's go to article let's go to article and then look it up so what it shows every single definition of the word you can get in any way so it's a noun 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 and verb so these are all of the definitions of article you can ever get on any dictionary even the most complex dictionaries of english you can you get find all of these definitions which i showed right here so it's a pretty handy app and a pretty practical app to use so let's get over with the next app so the next app is actually 
going to be yeah it's going to be paleta it's another editing app so what this basically does is go with goes with it and look what i've done with this photo so this is what happens when you select a photo on the app it it makes it black and white and then you can actually select what colors you want in the photo so i've selected green and this shade of brown and then this so th this is what happens it actually blackens out all of the other colors other than the ones you have selected so it gives a vibrant display of editing and looks looks pretty clean and nice so it's a wonderful app to use it's it's actually a nice app i have it on my gallery which i have edited so this is it this is it there's no compromise on the resolution the resolution is as you had captured it there's no compromise it's a wonderful app to use so let's get over with the next app the next app is actually a wallpaper app and this is what i think wallpapers should be like live wallpapers should be this way so actually what this is is that it's actually a live wallpaper which doesn't consume too much power and it's actually pretty soothing wallpaper and it gives you this nice effect without eating up a lot of your battery so what this basically does is that it's not too fast to distract you from what you were doing and it's not too slow to find any difference between a normal wallpaper and a live wallpaper this is what i think live wallpaper should be like and when you actually tilt the phone it gives a special turning effect which is pretty nice in my opinion so these are all the apps which i think you must need right now on your smartphones if you find this help video helpful or you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel it would be massively appreciated my name is aditya you're watching tech unimagined and i'll catch you in the next one